Hello beautiful guys welcome back to my youtube channel garden land so today topic is about the aquaponics garden ideas so aquaponics is a sustainable gardening method that combines aquaculture means raising aquatic animals with hydroponics means cultivating plants in water it's a closed loop system where fish waste provide a nutrient for plant and the plant filter the water for a fish this symbiotic relationship creates a self-sustaining ecosystem that can produce both fish and vegetable efficiently and sustainably. So in this video we will explore the principal benefits, setups and ideas for aquaponic gardening. So first of all we have a short introduction. So aquaponic is a sustainable farming method that combines aquaculture and hydroponics. In aquaponic system fish are raised in tanks and their waste is converted by bacteria into nutrients that plant can absorb. The plant in turn filters the water which is then recirculated back to the fish tanks. This closed loop system requires less water and land than traditional farming methods and can produce both fish and vegetable in compact space. So let's talk about their benefits. So as a human we take the following benefits. So aquaponic offers us several advantages over traditional farming method. It is required less water than conventional agriculture because the water is recirculated rather than being lost to evaporation or runoff. Aquaponics also use less land because the plant can be grown vertically and it eliminates the need for chemical fertilizer because fish waste toward all the nutrients the plant needs. Additionally, aquaponics system can be set up almost every, anywhere, making them ideal for urban areas or places with limited access to arable land. Setting, setting up uh, an aquaponic system fish tank so this is where the fish will be live the size of the tank will depend on the number and type of fish you plan to rise grow beds these are containers filled with growing mediums such as gravel or clay pebbles where the plant will grow the grow beds should be placed above the fish tank so the water can flow from the tank to grow beds and back then Water pump. This is used to circulate water from fish tank to grow beds and bay. It should be powerful enough to move the water efficiently but not so powerful that it disturbs fish or plants. Aeration system. Fish in need oxygen to survive so you will need an aeration system to keep the water oxygenated. This can be simple as an air pump and air stone. Types of aquaponic systems. So there are several types of aquaponic system uh, each with its own advantage and disadvantage. Media based system. These systems use growing mediums such as gravel or clay pebble to support plants. The water from fish tank is pumped into a grow bed where it is filtered by media before being returned to the fish tank. Nutrient film technique system. In NF3 system, the plants are grown in a channel through which the thin film of water containing nutrient flow. This method is efficient but can be challenging to maintain. Deep water culture. In DWC system, the plants are grown directly into water. This method is simple and efficient but requires careful monitoring of water quality. Plants and fish for aquaponics. Many different types of plants can be grown in an aquaponic system including leafy greens, herbs, tomatoes and strawberries. The key is to choose a plant that have a similar nutrient temperature requirement as for fish. Delipia is popular choice for because it's grow quickly and it's relative to easy maintenance so aquaponic system regular require regular maintenance to keep them running smoothly this include monitoring water quality changing for sign disease in fish and maintenance pump filters it's also essential to keep an eye on ph level of water as both fish and plant can be sensitive to ph so at last we have conclusion so aquaponic is sustainable and efficient method of gardening that combine both